Tell me about the night before you had to make that decision to take your family to the shelter. What was it like for you? For me personally, I, I was really unsure. I didn't know where we were going to go or really what we were going to do. As a parent, it makes you feel like you're not doing your job or you're not good enough. I don't know. I think I spent a good amount of time praying and just asking God to show us where we were supposed to be. When you moved into the shelter, how worried were you about coronavirus? Because you're there because of the virus, but you're also exposed to more people than you would be. The virus was a really big fear. Um, my kids and I, I think we sat outside in my car and talked for about 45 minutes before um, agreeing on just going in for the, the, the initial going in for the meal. Um, and we kind of just said, you know, let's just go in and feel it out, see how, you know, the situation feels. And if it feels wrong, we'll just go. So you included them in, in the conversation. I know that they are ages 6 and 12. Um, you know, one approach is to try to hide things, but here this is everywhere, and they know that they're being uprooted from their homes. Your 12-year-old certainly understands. You made the decision to include them along the way in, in, this, in this family move? It's just as much their life as it is mine. If this was something that really, really scared them, I, I would want to know that. However, the fact that we came in and they were really, really comfortable was not what I expected originally. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you think that, again, especially your youngest, that they would be afraid of what you were facing. I'm sure you've seen a lot of parents who've been unsettled by homeschooling. You have no home to homeschool in. How have you adjusted that part of your life? That part of life is probably the hardest for me. Um, mm. However, my kids are homeschooled through our church. And they do it through Google Classroom, so you still have to have internet, um, tablets or computers, a way to access, and you can't just go to the library, you know. Um, steering a little screen on my cell phone doesn't, you know, it's, it's hard for three of us to get around it, so. I know that you've said at first there was a, a lot of poor me, this isn't fair, I think is, again, a natural reaction anybody would have is, why me, why my children, why us at this time? But for you, that's changed. What, what changed in your life to make you view this crisis in a different way? I don't know that it was one thing in particular. I think it was the overall atmosphere. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I got tired of being, you know, Having a bad attitude or a poor disposition isn't going to make the situation any better for us um, if we can make the day happy that we have, you know, because if one of us was to get it in, we were going to get sick and we weren't going to make it. At least we did have the time together up until then. Your attitude and the way you have looked at this, I think, will help people understand and process what many families are experiencing.